Yo guys, and welcome back to Fire and Beer. We're going to go on a bit of an adventure today. We're going to go check out our friend out uh, in the Slocan Valley out here in the interior. And uh, check out his Corvette Stingrays he's got. He's got a couple of those that are real buttes from the 70s, just like me. And uh, we're going to try and get some fishing in too at the same time. On the way there and on the way back, lots of good spots. down here at the Columbia. I'm gonna try and get a little fishing in. It's windy as hell. But uh, yeah, a pretty nice spot. <laughs> okay guys, we're at the uh, Brilliant Suspens Suspension Bridge. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool spot. Let's take a look. Pretty cool. Yeah, this is a suspension bridge. I'll try and get a good shot of this here. bigger than the uh, Capilano suspension bridge. I've been on that one before a few times. Let's see if I can shake this one. <laughs> Not a chance. Yeah, it's built like, say, a hundred years ago by the uh, the Dukabors. The Dukabors were uh, pacifists that left Russia because they weren't into war and they ended up coming here and the British Columbia government uh, gave them this big area around here uh, as their land. And uh, just to make things easier, I guess, they built this bridge. Whoa, better hang on to that hat. But yeah, we're going to go all the way across. And yeah, that's about uh, what I know about it is, uh, yeah, built by uh, them. And uh, just made things easier, I guess, getting across to do their business. Lots of nice area around here. Very beautiful, lots of good hikes and things like that. Everything, this is real outdoor land for sure, around here. <laughs> there, we're just about at the end here now. So there, we made it across the Columbia in about two minutes of walking. So that's a lot easier than what they probably used to have to do. You can only imagine. But yeah, here we are. So we're just gonna truck across again and uh, yeah. Catch up with you in a bit here, see if we can get that line in the water. Okay guys, I think I got a pretty good spot right here. Just gonna head on down this way here. See if I can get a few uh, casts in and uh, it looks pretty nice. I'm sure early in the morning it'd be a lot better. We're gonna have to come back uh, another time and make a whole day of it down here. Cause there's so many different spots to go to. This is right underneath the big bridge, not underneath the suspension bridge, but uh, yeah, underneath this guy here. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna set up and get a few casts in.
Well, that was a tough one there, guys. Nothing uh, on about uh, 20 casts or so. But again, not the right time of day. Just thought I'd uh, see what happened. But uh, yeah, just wanted to show you around a little bit too. And uh, yeah, we'll get back to you in a bit. Right up there, there's a tomb. I don't know if you can see the back end, but there's a tomb from one of the leaders of the uh, the Dukabors that uh, built the big dam. So, uh, not the big dam, but the big bridge, right, in the whole area, really. But uh, we'll try and take you to that soon. Don't know if you can make that out, but that's good to see. I don't know if you can see the sturgeon there, but uh, yeah, caught a couple sturgeon when I first got here and broke one of my very favorite rods. It was a really nice Berkeley graphite rod and I didn't know it was taking my line. It was taking my line, taking my line and I got to the end of the line and the rod just went and snap and exploded. And it was sturgeons because I'd caught a few before and I'd caught a couple after, I guess, you know, but uh, that must have been a big boy, that one. I couldn't do anything about him. Yeah, just took me, spooled me and, uh, and snapped the bloody rod. <laughs> but yeah, we might get into another one. We, we're not going to be targeting those guys, but sometimes you end up getting those anyhow. Yeah. Okay, guys. Yeah, well, that was good, guys. We're going to uh, be back here shortly, I'm sure. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get something. I know it. I see some other guys on the other side of the river fishing now, too. Or maybe they're just walking dogs or something. But, yeah, we're going to have an early fish coming up soon. I know that. We're going to get up real early and head down to one of my favorite spots, I think. And should be good. Yeah, pretty beautiful area he lives in here, my buddy. And, uh... Yeah, it's out towards the Slocan Valley and uh, here in the interior. And uh, yeah, it's pretty darn nice. Yeah, guys, I'm over at my friend's place and uh, look what we got here. Talk about fine specimens. These are uh, 270s Stingray Corvettes. And uh, yeah, look at these guys. Aren't these something? Hey. Eh? Doesn't get much better than that. All right. Pretty darn nice. Yeah, guys, look at this thing, eh? I've been in the uh, some hot cars before, but uh, this thing here, wow. Well, looks like we found another little spot here under a bridge coming home. Just going to give it a couple casts into here. Just, just too tempting. Yeah, pretty nice spot I found here. Nice little uh, tributary, I guess, to, to Columbia. The worst day of fishing is better than the best day of working. Yeah, nothing yet, but uh, we haven't been too serious about it today, but nice to get out anyhow. Oh guys, well, we made it back okay. Uh, 
didn't catch nothing, of course. We weren't too serious this time, I guess. We could have hit it a bit harder, but next time. Next time, for sure. That's why they call it fishing and not catching. <laughs> but yeah, usually when I go fishing, I want to eat something uh, fishy <laughs> that day. So I'm going to see what I can come up with. We're going to still uh, be doing fish. It's not Friday, but uh, we're doing fish today. So yeah, when I don't catch something, I'm definitely gonna either stop and get some kind of fish burger or something like that, but I didn't remember that today. And uh, yeah, so what I came up with is this. <laughs> these are good though, actually. These are uh, sardine steaks, right? See that, steaks. Yeah. So let's give those a whirl. show you what we got here. See that? Mmm. Darn it, got some bone in there. I don't like the bone part of that. I was kind of hoping it would just be uh, boneless, but not this time. But that's okay. Yeah, what we got today, guys, we got something new, that's for sure. It's, uh, last time we had the Shaftesbury Lager, and that was that 420 Lager, I believe, and, uh, yeah, it was alright. Uh, I think I gave that a lower rating, though, I'm not too into the Lagers, I don't think. The Laggers. Into logging, but not Laggers. But uh, this one here is a Shaftesbury Coastal Cream Ale. Take a look at that. Right? Looks like a beauty, actually. Right, so let's see what it does then. Hey, we got 
these two, let's make it together. <laughs> let's not drop the glass. Let's not. Well, looks good. Smells good. And as usual, I'll put uh, my signature half beer and half head in the glass, looks like. Actually, not bad, actually. Yeah, I don't know. Right? <laughs> okay. Let's give this a try. Even with that giant head on there, let's see what happens. So, yeah, we got Shaftesbury Coastal Cream Ale going in. Yeah, good. I like this one better than the last uh, 420 lager. Yeah, this one is got a yeah, this one is got a good taste to it. <laughs> Let's just go with that. Yeah, pretty darn good. Yeah, this one here, I think uh, the Shaftesbury Coastal Cream Ale. We're gonna give it her, uh, this one gets a 7.5, actually. thanks for hanging out today uh, pretty good adventure I uh, saw a couple new spots this is good and uh, we're gonna see some more okay keep on trucking one foot in front of the other Nothing yet. 